Recently, I happened across a fascinating letter that I wanted to add to my Michigan history collection, but that was just not in the cards. Nonetheless, I wanted to share it with you all. It's pretty amazing, especially reading between the lines. It is short, but it's packed, really. The letter dated April 10, 1856 at Vassar, Michigan. This letter was written um, only seven years after Vassar had fo been founded, which was on March 1, 1841. At that time, the entire population of the Vassar area was only 2,697 uh, hardy people. The door, however, was open to welcome new settlers, and that is what the man who wrote this letter was, a new settler. And it was written to uh, his wife in Illinois, who would soon join him. First, however, just, just briefly, a little more background on Vassar. It was founded by four men who were led by James M. Edmund, and Townsend North, who were in search of, a, of an area to build a dam <clears throat> and start a city. And the city was named after Edmund's uncle, Matthew Vassar. So Vassar was also the first seat of Tuscola County. Now, the letter, written to Esther L. Diplau at uh, Alden, McHenry County, Illinois, from Vassar, Michigan, April 10th, 1856. And I now quote, My dear wife, I sat down to write you once more. I just finished a letter to Charlie, and by the time I get uh, yours done, it will be bedtime, I guess. I started from Saginaw Tuesday, got to Vassar the same night. Charles carried pack um, for nine miles, and I footed it for 17 miles. Stayed all night at Vassar. Started next morning for our land, and it is a little over four miles east of here. Well, succeed in finding it through some... Uh, though some trails were iced. Improving and returned to Vassar for provisions. Have been gone two days. Expect to get a hand to help uh, me next week with the work. The land is pretty good. I think it is worth $5 an acre that we paid. Your affectionate husband, end quote. Um, his name, um, uh, I could not make out, but for letters of this period, it was pretty easy to read. But he left from Saginaw, from Saginaw which... Uh, by foot is a, a fair distance from Vassar, and um, there's just a lot of interesting things to think about as you read between the lines. I doubt that Saginaw in 1856 had more than four or 5,000 people in it, and um, I just can't imagine the walk 17 hours to get to that destination. But uh, once his land, once he started working the land, it sounds like, and then his wife Esther would join him and uh, start their happy family here in what was then the, uh, the western wilderness of our great country, the United States of America. Thanks for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this. I'll soon bring you another letter. This one was uh, written at uh, oh boy, the town uh, escapes in some Charlotte, Charlotte County and um, Benzinia, Benzinia, I think is, how, is what it is. And it was written in 1864, and it's a, a little lengthier letter, and I think you'll enjoy that. It hasn't arrived yet, but I, <coughs> excuse me, folks, but I'm looking forward to it. So you all have a great day. God bless. Bye-bye. Recently, I happened across a most fascinating letter that I wanted to add to my Michigan history collection, but that was not in the cards. You want to say something, Charlie? Okay. What do you want to say? Meow. Oh, meow. You want to say hi to everybody? Huh? That's my little buddy Charlie Cat. And uh, that's what uh, the production company is named after. It's my Charlie. Little Charlie Cat. Who's now, yeah, he's uh, taking care of business. Okay. Recently I happened across a most fascinating letter that I really wanted to add to my Michigan history collection, but uh, that was not in the cards. Nonetheless, I want to share it with y'all. It's pretty amazing, especially re reading between the lines. It's short. You want to talk again, Charlie? Go ahead. Yeah, Mer. You're not going to let me do this recording, are you? <laughs> uh, yeah, Mer. I know. Tell everybody. You want the attention. The microphone shouldn't have the attention. Okay, let's try it again.